our um, house udon is a uh, fairly popular, so we just have to keep it yeah going all the time. And now the house udon is actually getting really um really rich. Mm. Yeah. Or sometimes you would have a different base. Now we just use a uh uh Oh okay. Uh, yeah. And then it we get it richer. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Haunted by the spirit of tea. Mm hmm Yeah. You wanna smell? The, the tea is it's gonna go for about an hour more. Oh wow. Oh, it smells good. It's good, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, actually, uh, I'm actually really proud of uh, uh, the house oolong right now. And and now I have been roasting the 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 teas, and he has a uh, a lot of patience. Let's put it that way. <laughs> well, <While> Miss Tight. <laughs> and so that when you just crank the heat and make it go faster, he's gonna burn it. <laughs> And then he will actually go in very often to smell the tea and stuff. So now the last time we actually just drank it in the pocket. So I was like, dang, that's a really good tea. <laughs> I don't care how many years ago it was it. And I was impatient and I wanted to try out roasting. And I had like, I do a lot of sous vide cooking and they ha there's like this blowtorch thing you can get that you'd blowtorch your meat after. And I'm like, let's just throw this on some tin foil and blowtorch the oolong. No, and it no. just caught fire. <laughs> oh, wow. What so it was not roasted. It was like, <laughs> burnt. It, it was top half burnt, half green. <laughs> roasting is, uh, roasting is crazy. Yeah, roasting is actually, I was thinking about that this morning, it's an interesting word for it because it's more like drying than it is like roasting. Yeah. Like the temperature that you roast like a steak at would incinerate the oolong tea. <laughs> yeah. It's like roasting a uh, wood, you know, it's like putting wood on a, on a hot fire. Is there yeah. like a temperature that you have it at? Or um, is it... With these, I'm using electric roasters, but they're like super not uh, accurate. accurate. <laughs> yeah. So... Eh, somewhere around boiling temperature, like okay, about so 100, like 100 C, 120 yeah. C maybe. Yeah. So what we what we do is when we turn on the basket uh, before the tea, and we just let it get on a little bit, and then we we use our face to uh, sense the temperature and see where it's spreading, mm. uh, and see, and then those two we have, yes you can tell we have two roasters and the two fires are very the two fires different mm -hmm. yeah the two even though yeah. they're both they're like the same shape of electric element one of them is like kind of spreads everywhere and is a little yeah. bit hard to control and the other one is like yeah more, a little bit more, more contained yeah, yeah. i imagine over time they change too right yeah, yeah they do true they do. true yeah but i roasted our dongding red oolong re-roasted that tea mm -hmm. and i roasted the dark roasted taeguan in Mm. Also, re-roasted it. Mm. So I've been having a lot of fun roasting some of the tea. <laughs> yeah, just to touch it up and bring it back into our center again. Mm. It's been really good. Really good. And if I have patience, I'll, like, I have one of those, like, cup warmers with the... So it's just essentially like a small hot plate. Yeah. And I just throw the tea on that to kind of yeah. get the liquid out of it. You can, you can it. push the moisture out that yeah. way, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do it that way, too. Really Don't forget it though, because I burnt it one time. <laughs> <laughs> so I only went on there for like an hour and a half. <laughs> oh, I love how this tea is uh, changing. Now it's more herbal. Oh, like it's citrusy almost. Yeah. But that sweetness have maintained all mm -hmm. like. mm. Nice, nice. Ooh, very rich. But not super, in a way, I don't feel like it's super roasted, but and yet very rich and soft. Mm. Hey, still got a bit of floralness in the after. Yeah. And next. We should drink your favorite oolong. Oh. 